kindergarten. I am not here with an elephant and piggy book today. Actually, I wanted to do a little bit of math with you today. I was watching some of the videos and I saw teacher Juliet doing a really great job showing all the families the five frame and the 10 frame. And I wanted to do not a whole lesson today, but I want you to think about how we do math in our classroom and we don't start out with our lesson right away. We start out getting our brains warmed up doing our fluency. So our fluency is just a way for us to get our brains ready thinking about numbers and all of our kindergarten strategies that we use to figure out all of our kindergarten math work. So I was thinking sometimes we have five frames to use and sometimes your teacher might show you a five frame flash and might say, ready, go. And all the kids would say, three. And then maybe your teacher would say, oh, and how many more to make five? And you guys would know it's two more to make five. And then we would say the sentence, three and two more make five. But you know what? Sometimes we don't have five frames to use. But what do we always have? Boom, our fingers. So I wanna make sure while you're home that you're practicing kindergarten counting, okay? And I also want you to think of how counting with your fingers is kind of the same as what we're doing in our five frame. All right, so let's get started. And we're just going to use our, our one hand. We're just gonna count up to five, but we're going to do it the kindergarten way. So let's see if you remember what finger do we start on? Pinky. So pinky is one, ring finger is two, tall man is three, pointer is four, and thumb is five. Very good, very good. So shake it out, shake it out. I know because it's a lot of exercise for your fingers and we haven't done it in a while. So let's do it one more time. Here we go, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. Now that you guys have gotten your brains warmed up and you remember all about kindergarten counting, I might just say a number and you have to show me the kindergarten way. All right? Show me three. Hmm. Let's see if you did it the kindergarten way. Pinky, ring finger, tall man. That is kindergarten three. Very good. Okay, shake it out, shake it out. Here we go. All right? Kindergarten two. Hmm. I'm wondering if I see anyone doing two like this. Oh, that is two. One, two. You would be right, but we want to make sure it's kindergarten two. So you have to do it in order. Pinky, ring finger. That's kindergarten two. Okay, that's what we call that. Excellent, excellent. Okay, now check it out. Well, let's do a super easy one. Kindergarten five. Boom. Kindergarten five. All those fingers up. Excellent, excellent job. Great. Now, are you guys kind of seeing how, oh, there's three on my five frame, three on my fingers. Oh, how many more to make five? One, two, one, two, three, and two more make five. Excellent. Well, that was a really good warm up to five, but I think we can probably go all the way to 10. So just like we use the 10 frame, and there's one, two, three, four, five on top, one, two, three, four, five on bottom, we can use our hands to count to 10, all right? Now, let's see if we can get all the way to 10. And the tricky thing is, when we get to five, I'm gonna see who knows how to get to six. That's tricky, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, which one is it? The thumb. Six, seven, eight, nine. That's the hardest one. 10, very good. So now we have five, oh, wait a second, five on top five on bottom, just like five on top, five on bottom. Very good, five and five is 10. Excellent, excellent. I'm wondering 
if I say a big number, if you can do it real fast. Ready? Let's see. Show me kindergarten six. Let's see. Who did it? Oh, I know this is five. And one more is six. So here we see six. All right. I wonder what else we see when we look at this. I see six, but I see something else. It's almost like I'm looking at a number bond. Do you see it? Let's see. Oh, wait, I think I, I think I have a number bond. Let's see. Oh, here it is. Oh, here's my number bond. I'm gonna bounce it on my chin. And here's my number six. What do you think I can do in my number bond here? All right, our total number. What is our total number? Let's see if you still hold your fingers up. Who has it? Six. Okay. Four. I'm using my marker. Six is what? Oh, five and one. So I can write that as my parts. Five and one, and you guys know, I always like to call that the five group way. It is my favorite way. We know six is five and one. All right, before we go, let's see if we can do one more. And we are using our warm ups to do some big math that you guys are practicing during your lessons. All right, so let's see who's ready to show me kindergarten, it has to be the kindergarten way, just this time, kindergarten Eight. Oh, let's see if your way is the kindergarten way. Oh, kindergarten eight. What do you see? I see eight all together. So I'm going to put eight up here. Oh, how's my eight? Okay. And now, what are my parts? Oh, again, I'm losing it. Oh, five and Three. Oh, you know, I love that five group way. <gasps> Excellent. So everyone thinks, oh, we're just doing easy counting on our fingers. That's so easy. But we do all of our fluencies every day to get our brain ready to do our big, important math. And you're still going to be counting this way even when you get in first grade. So make sure you're practicing it every way, every day, and see if you can use your counting to figure out some number bonds. Okay, thanks for counting with me. Bye-bye.